get towards. Hey guys, Craig from Crank and Surf back again. Um, this week we're going to have a look at fin systems. Uh, when you're building the board or you're buying a board, I suppose, um, you've got to decide what fin system you want. Uh, obviously, the main two are FCS and Futures. They probably cover, I'd say, probably 95% of the market, really. Um, but there's a few options. So this one sitting here is FCS2. Uh, good thing about FCS2, you generally just knock them out. Um, but one feature, these will actually take FCS1 too, by the way. Um, however, there's one feature that I like about the FCS2 is they've still got the screw hole. Now, I have seen people lose FCS2 fins where they've been knocked out, whether it be on a reef break or um, really riding on the sand, <laughs> which is not the greatest idea, but FCS2 are good. I, if I'm surfing a reef break, I'll generally put the grub screw in, um, just in case. There's nothing worse than losing a fin, and let's face it, some fin sets are $150, ridiculous, but you lose one, you up for a bit, a bit of coin. So, SCS2, not bad. Um, I use them every now and again. Um, I, I still use fusions. I'll show you what fusions are, and then I'll show you the old original like FCS ones. But um, FCS2, pretty good. Um, you can get a tool to make the fin come out easier. Um, about 30 $35. dollars. Um, I don't mind them. Um, yeah, so I don't use them a lot, but they're, they're not too bad. But that's SCS2. I said, if you're going to knock the fin out, the easiest way is to just grab a rag or something and bit of dust and there's your fin out to put them in pretty easy there's two tabs and in the front there's a little bit cut out of that tab so that this these might be a bit tight still but they go in and there you go that's the FCS2 in and done uh, move on to futures next okay so these long boxes here they're futures um, look similar to FCS2 they're a glassed in box uh, you've got a little notch and it's at this end and you've got a grub screw at that end so basically a yeah, little notch thing this board's never had fins in it so it might be a bit stiff and then you do the screw up uh, a tool he's back a tool I use is this it's an FCS tool it's a ratchet so pretty much Ratchet, very easy, as opposed to the little stick ones that take ages. Um, I don't mind futures. Um, yeah, they go pretty good. Uh, I've used them a few times. They're really good for channel bottom boards if you're building a channel bottom board. But if you're buying it off the shop, yeah, pretty good. Um, geez, it's just like <laughs> Ford Holden, sort of whatever the basic competition is. But um, they're pretty good. Never had any problems with them, they don't split. Sorry, can't see it. But I haven't seen too many split. Um, they're a glass in, as I said, so pretty good. This uh, this board here is for a buddy, Max, for uh, for him to go overseas. But due to the coronavirus, he hasn't had a chance to uh, have a go of it. Pretty easy to yeah, undo the screw, pop the fin, and pop it out. That's it. That's futures. This fin box is probably the one I use the most. Um, out of all my boards uh, whether I'm making it for myself or someone but if someone wants FCS2 or Futures it's not drama, it's pretty easy these are FCS Fusion so I think they're discontinued now but you can still get them on eBay they're only cheap um, but they're the same same thing they use the FCS 1 fin now I'll just I'll just do a quick pause and I'll grab an FCS 1 so that's the FCS 1 fin it's just got the twin tabs um, the twin tabs were good, but they could occasionally break, but not that common. Not that common. Uh, now, basically, I'll do it on this one so you can see it better. But you just push the push the fin into the the two tabs there. Use your ratchet, fin key, do it up, and away you go. Pretty secure. Um, I don't have too many problems with fusion. The only time I've ever ripped out a fusion box was. Um, trying to pull into a backhand barrel, the lip caught me, flipped the board, um, basically arse cheek landed on the fin 
and uh, knocked it out. <clears throat> but yeah, pretty good. I don't don't mind them. I use them a lot, so they're easy to do. But they were, they were the first one where you actually glass the fin box under the glass, as opposed to the FCS one where you drilled and dropped them in from the top. It's a little bit different, but they're the ones that I use the most. Uh, I'll show you a couple more. This system here, you might see it every now and again, basically takes the same FCS1 system. Um, same thing, just it's got a, actually one long slot, but you basically just put the fin in. I've got the key screwed in, so the, the grub screw. Um, yeah, basically just goes in, same thing, it's got the same ratchet. Uh, set up as the FCS1. Don't see many of these break. Some people say they used to split underneath, but Jesus, I don't think I've ever done a turn that big, then I'm going to split that. Um, never broken one, never had one come out. You see them occasionally with repairs, but not very often. Uh, I think they're fin control systems from Australia. Pretty good. Um, really easy to install. They're, a they're an after glass one, so you glass the board, then you've got the pencil line, and then you actually attach it. Um, you drill three holes, you've got a template. Actually, pause, and I'll show you the template. So this is the actual template for uh, this system here. So you basically do, you line up your three, you've got your center one, you've got your right and left, and you basically just do a pencil of three dots uh, under on the foam before you glass it. Once you glass it, all you do is use a, a little, uh, very fine screwdriver, just drill through the glass and then you can put in a larger router bit and actually take that out. Um, I was a big, big fan of these but um, they're sort of gone by the wayside now um, but I do use them in repairs if I'm replacing FCS ones and I'll show you one of those. Okay so this one here this is the original FCS I call them FCS one because then they had an FCS two. It's like having an iPhone and then you had to come out with iPhone 4 or whatever. Um, yeah, so these, these go in uh, after glassing as well. So these are the original system. Problem was, um, they used to rip out a lot. Even mild intermediate surface could rip them out. Um, they're, look, they were good, pain to repair. Um, you'll see a lot of boards with um, big marks on the deck where they've actually come through. They're a good first system because they're great to travel with removable fins. Um, but I don't know. I just I see too, way too many repairs for them. Uh, they probably started in the 90s and went right through. But not bad. Easy to use. FCS ratchet tool, and you just use the standard uh, FCS one fins with the twin tabs, like that red fin. Yeah, don't mind them. I've got a few boards that have got them, but um, when I started shaping my own boards, I went away. I don't use these when I shape. I've never used them. I only do repairs on them. Um, the last ones I showed you, the fin control system, they're the ones I used when I started shaping, so uh, I'll show you one more. I'll drop the camera down a bit for this one. Okay, this is an old school fin box, and that's all they are. They're a fin box. They've been around since, uh, they probably started in the 60s, so they've been around a long time. Massive in the 70s. Um, yeah, I, I still use them. If I make a single fin, that's what goes in it. I don't actually glass on fins. Um, it's just too time consuming, whereas they're really, they're pretty easy to install. Um, they've got a little slot either side. Uh, the fin, this one here, this is a Shane Haran star fin. And once you loosen that off, you can actually move the fin backwards and forwards. I'd probably get a screwdriver, but uh, you, I think you get the picture. So you can move it. Uh, that'll loosen or tighten the board up a little bit. These fins are really good. Uh, you see, this is the first one I've ever had actually. Always wanted one. Um, I've used curl fins before, but yeah, really like this. It gives a lot of, lot of lift and drive. It's really, uh, really interesting. But um, I'll show you one more fin while we're at it. So this fin here, so this one here, the Shane Haran star fin, was designed by Ben Lexon, who designed Australia 2, which was the Australian yacht that won the America's Cup in the 80s. Yeah, it would have been 80s. So, Ben Lexon just put a wing keel on a yacht. Um, apparently it went pretty well. 
Uh, first time America's been beaten in the America's Cup for about 100 years. This was designed a little bit after. Uh, it's, it's a keel fin. It's an FCS 1 system. Um, and it's got a little, little wing keel on it. Um, I use that on a mal, like a mini mal. Uh, I'll use it as the third fin. Uh, I find it gives it a lot of lift and drive. Uh, really easy to sort of turn. Um, big fan. They came out. They came out in the 80s. I remember this probably about 85, 86, and um, they were pretty cool. So I managed to get my hands on one. But um, yeah, really fun. I like them. So that's pretty much uh, fin systems. Look, what do you use? It's up to you. Um, they're both good. These days you tend to buy a set of fins and use them in all your different boards. Um, look, I don't know, there's no right or wrong. Uh, I like Futures, I also like SCS. Uh, I use both. So it just depends on what board I've got to what I'm going to use. So uh, it's up to you guys. But um, look, I hope that sort of helps. Um, there's no, I don't think anyone's better than the other. Obviously, there's a lot more SCS fins around, so they might be cheaper. That's about the only plus that I can see on that. Um, Futures are doing some good stuff, so who knows? Who knows where it'll go? But I hope you like the video. Give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe, and I'll basically do some more stuff. I've got some shaping going on soon, so we'll do some shaping videos. Uh, but yeah, hope everyone's staying safe in this uh, coronavirus and surviving lockdown. Of the one of the boards I showed you there with the fusions. That's a brand new 66 I made and I haven't had a chance to ride it yet during because of the lockdown so hopefully I'll uh, get out there and give that board a ride. Um, hopefully get that board over to Bali as well so everyone stay safe and uh, catch you next time.